Hey guys, I wanted to update you all on the San Jose ta gun tax and gun insurance. I say gun tax, they're calling it a fee, but it's a gun tax. Um, I wanted you guys to kind of know what happened. Last night at the city council meeting in San Jose, California, um, they passed the um, gun insurance and gun fee tax bill or ordinance. Um, there was some discussion. Uh, actually, they still do their meetings virtually because they're still in pandemic mode over there in California. But everything was virtual. All the council members, the mayor, uh, and citizens were actually calling in, Zoom calling or whichever, uh, in virtually as well. Um, overwhelmingly, the, the public, which was a little bit surprising to me, but overwhelmingly, the public that called in was not in support of this ordinance. They had one person in support of the ordinance, and that person actually suggested that they uh, have a tax on uh, ammunition as well. Um, so nevertheless, uh, interesting phone calls uh, into the city council me uh, meeting. Here's a couple of those uh, highlights from that. What's going to happen is that once there's a violation of the civil order, that gives them permission to go in and search the house. If there's a suspicion, if there's, oh, oh, oh you don't have, oh, you don't have your license, oh, oh you don't have it on, oh, well, we, we need to check your house now. You know that. OK, and you know better than to do something like this and to try to pull a con on the public. First of all, Mr. Mr. Mayor, you indicated that there was no such insurance available at this time. I think uh, the council is apparently it, it appears to be virtue signaling with regard to the safety. Um, and uh, it's already been acknowledged that uh, this will not decrease any gun violence or people getting their hands on guns that were not uh, were not uh, obtained legally. The lack of public process implemented by the mayors causes more suspicion. While the mayor's heart is in the right place, the need to pass something overtook the need for a fair and public process. The mayor chose not to hold public meetings. The mayor chose not to widely engage diverse views. The mayor chose to ignore the public comments. The mayor chose to dismiss his fellow council members' opinions and concerns. The process matters. Engaging and listening to the community matters. Being honest about the data matters. Being honest about what's in this law, what it will and won't do matters. In the 1890s, uh, there was a thing called the poll tax. And that tax was created to stop minorities from exercising their right. In that case, the right to vote. Uh, they charged the dollar 75 cent fee, which in today's money is about $18. That was ruled unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. Well, today, history is repeating itself. If the majority of San Jose City Council members pass this ordinance, which creates a barrier to the free exercise of a natural right via an unconstitutional $25 to $35 tax against its minority residents, well, mainly gun owners, taxing and isolating a group of people based on their decision to embrace a constitutional right is, is discriminatory. I would encourage the council to please stop calling this tax a fee. It's disingenuous. It is, in fact, a tax. Second, uh, I would remind the council that the courts have consistently ruled against any tax on a constitutional right. This will fall under the heading of a Jim Crow tax, and it will be struck down. Third, I would encourage the city to keep in mind that you, uh, if you pass this, you will be bogged down with multiple lawsuits. I know of three organizations already that have it in the works. The thing I am certain about for sure is that I do not want uh, the government, our local government, to name a nonprofit organization to have uh, people who own a firearm to then have to pay that organization. I am so tired of so many nonprofit organizations being attached to, you know, line budget line items in our city's budget or you know, involved in task forces or, you know, all these study sessions, I feel personally my single voice, very free thinking voice is often um, just not regarded. Interestingly enough, uh, Council Member Mahan wanted to separate the votes on the tax portion and the insurance portion. Interesting, because it didn't separate the ordinance. In other words, the ordinance was not going to be voted on separately both of these items, the tax and the insurance, are still part of the same ordinance. They just wanted to vote on them separately. And I guess the reason why is to be on record. 
Um, knowing that it doesn't make a difference either way with the ordinance, either the ordinance passes or it fails. But I think they did that because they wanted to make sure that if the whole thing passes, the ones that were against the unconstitutional nature of the fee, which to me, the insurance is just bad, but it's very obvious that the fee, the tax is a tax on a constitutional right. And I think those people want to be tied to the very fact that, hey, I opposed this attack and this tax on a constitutional right. I just agree with the insurance. I think that's how they're wanting to go on record, just a formality more than anything. But the whole thing passed. Now it goes to the attorneys. I actually spoke to a San Jose city clerk a while ago, and she said that uh, not tomorrow, but Thursday. Is tomorrow Thursday? Thursday. <laughs> I've lost track of this week already. Thursday, all of it, go. the ordinance goes to the attorneys. The attorneys probably tweak it, make the language right, make sure there's no grammatical errors, and it's going to go into law. So those of you guys out there in San Jose, California, if you are a gun owner, um, prepare yourself for paying a basically a sin tax and um, you know some insurance that you're going to have to get. Now, to give you a perfect example of how people they get into the deep end in a topic that they know nothing about. You've got the mayor of San Jose and city council members trying to pass a tax, an insurance, a burden on the people of San, uh, uh, San Jose. And one of them, actually a couple of them, but more notably the mayor actually said that there's, or, or confirmed that there are no insurances out there to cover the type of liability insurance that the gun owners will have to have in hand, San Jose. Well, clearly the guy's not doing his due diligence. He originally did all of his investigations and pulled numbers from the Gabby Giffords law firm for anti-gun whatever. That's his source. Had he just checked anywhere else, he would have found that for sure, I mentioned it on my video the other day, uh, right to bear insurance is the exact insurance that they need out there. Now be careful, those of you guys in San Jose, not all insurances are applicable in this case, it has to be a true liability insurance. It can't just be a group of an attorneys and a group of uh, or, or a pile of money. Um, right to bear is, and I'm giving you this as information to make sure that you know where to go. I'm sure there are others, but I'm telling you that right to bear is one that I know for a fact uh, will be um, accepted out there and applies to this ordinance and will cover these citizens of San Jose. Now, the, the city of San Jose will get sued. This will eventually go away. Uh, at least a portion of it will. Uh, the tax portion is definitely going to go away. There's no way. It will probably, it may not make it to the Supreme Court, but if it goes to the Supreme Court, even with the wackos that we have on the Supreme Court, this is going to get struck down. So the tax portion will go away. That's that $1.3 million slush fund that the city of San, uh, San Jose is wanting to give just the city manager the authority to give to a 5013C, essentially a really nice lucrative slush fund that they can give to the Gabby Giffords organizations and all these other lobbying firms to lobby against gun rights. That's all it's going to boil down to. They're already partnering and uh, sleeping with these Gabby Giffords people already in this anti-gun movement. So we know where the slush fund of money is going to go. The $1.3 million that the citizens, citizens of San Jose are going to have to pay. If this is truly about safety, and if we are truly worried about the burden that people getting shot takes on a local community and the taxpayers, why are we passing a tax on gun owners that most of them are honest, law-abiding gun owners? If we're worried about the gangs, why aren't we passing a gang tax?